guys, we are going to get started with our math lesson, and this is Unit 12, Lesson 2. You will need to get your pencil and your activity book, and we're going to work on page starting on 247. Our standards that we are working on for today's lesson, I can write a numeral for a group of 0 through 20 objects. I can count to tell how many, and I can add and subtract within 10 and show you how I did it using objects, my fingers, drawings, or equations. So go ahead and pause the recording while you gather your pencil and your activity book. Okay, so now we're going to take a look in the OLS, and this is under the section Learn, Sketch to Subtract. Seven is how many more than one? So we're going to walk through how to solve this problem. So we're going to go to the next screen to compare seven and one. So you can see seven is is six more than one look at two rows of blocks one block is matched six blocks are not matched so we start off with making our row of seven and then our row of one and we match them you can show the same problem with a sketch Look at the sketch using circles. So you can tell that seven is six more than one. So let's try this one. Three is how many fewer than nine? So let's try this problem. First, we start off with drawing three circles. One, two, three. What do you think that we will do next? That's right. Now we need to draw nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we can compare three and nine. So we will draw the lines to compare and look at the lines and count the empty spaces where the circles aren't matched in this area right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as we just did, how many empty spaces are there where the circles aren't matched? Look at the lines and count the empty spaces where the circles aren't matched and click on the number. And we just did that and we know that it was six. Let's check our answer. Great job. Six of the circles are not matched. So three is six fewer than nine. All right, so now we can get your workbook pages in your activity book and start on number one. Pause the recording until you are ready. And when, you're fin when you have your materials and you have your pencil and you're ready to start working on number one together, come back and hit play. All right, super. So you have your materials. So number one, 14 is how many more than three? So what are we going to do to start off with? That's right. We are going to draw 14 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is how many more than three? So our next step is to draw three circles. One, two, three. 
learning coaches throughout this video when needed go ahead and hit pause and then go back and hit play when you're ready all right so now boys and girls we're going to draw our lines and see how many we have that does not match So we know this whole area right here, this would be our set that we are looking for. So fourteen is how many more than three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. 14 is how many more than 3? And the answer is 11. So we know, if you want, you can write the number 11 right here. And for writing our problem, we know it is 14 minus 3 is 11. 14 minus 3 is 11. All right, guys, I hope that you were able to work through this problem with me. Now, let's go to the next one. Again, learning coaches, feel free to pause the recording if your student um, needs that extra time. So, number two, 15 is how many more than three? All right, boys and girls, 15 circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, I'm trying to do small circles so we can fit them in our space. So that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. I got them. All right, so 15 is how many more than 3? So now I'm going to draw three circles. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to connect with our lines to try and compare and see how many we have. And you are working this out at home with your learning coach in your activity book. And we can compare our answers. So we know that now we need to find out how many more. So we know that we need to see right here. So let's count that together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fifteen is how many more than three? And our answer is twelve. So fifteen minus three equals twelve. All right, great job, boys and girls. You are doing awesome. Let's go to our next one, number three. This time it says 16 is how many more than three. So we are going to start off with our circles of 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I had to go a little bit out, but that's okay. 
16 is how many more than 3? So now we're going to do 3. 1, 2, 3. And to compare, we are drawing our lines. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we're going to count how many we have that does not have a match. So we're counting this area. One, oh, I'm sorry, here we go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. So sixteen minus three is thirteen. Great job, guys. Let's try one more together. So this is problem number four. And it says seven is how many more than five? Seven is how many more than five? So let's draw our circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is how many more than five? So we have our row of seven. And now how many do I draw on the bottom? Five. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. And now what do we need to do? Great job. Yes, we're going to draw our lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we need to compare and see how many does not have a match. And as you can see in this area, we have one, two does not have a match. So seven minus five is two. All right, guys, so you can practice at home. You will need to finish problems five through eight with your learning coach, just as we have done today in class together. And once you have finished your practice, then it is time for you to go to the try it, sketch, and solve. So you will work in your activity book on those pages, have your learning coaches check over your problems, and then you are finished. You can mark this lesson complete. All right, guys, so that was corruptious. You guys have did an excellent job at working today on your math sketches. And now, just a little extra story time for you that how you can see math problems are everywhere. Sometimes we want to say, why do I have to learn this? Well, this is a story that we found for you guys to enjoy. I will put the link in our description area and the title of this book is Math Curse. So this is a fun way to see how math is everywhere. And I do want to remind you guys to take a look at our kindergarten website. It is full of lots of information and resources for you. If you look right here, this is a link for our live mic that you guys should refer to daily. We are adding all kinds of resources and videos uh, that are also tablet friendly not just in Blackboard. We have our newsletter link. We have different songs, videos. 
We vary these from beginning kindergarten skills to on target skills towards more advanced kindergarten skills. So lots of resources for everyone here at this kindergarten website and I will put that link in our um, description as well. All right, boys and girls, so ticket out the door. Show me what you know. Share with your learning coach to answer to this question. Which cupcake has the fewest sprinkles? Okay, so think about the word fewest. Go ahead and you can pause the recording while you figure out the answer. And then I also have a challenge question for you today. What is the difference of the amounts? So go ahead and pause the recording while you work this out. All right. So let's count to see the sprinkles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this cupcake has seven. Let's count the sprinkles on cupcake B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we are counting objects that are scattered. And we were able to come up with the two numerals, 7 and 12. So which one is the fewest? That's right, A with 7. And we can, what is the difference in the amounts? 5. That's right. Great job, boys and girls. You have did awesome today. All right, so your attendance survey will be in the description area. Our topic is sketch subtraction problems. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, please reach out to your kindergarten teacher. We are here to help you guys 100%. I hope you have found this video helpful um, and have an awesome day. Bye.